Yo guys, what is up? It's Teach here coming at you again with another video and I am here right now to show you the Lymantria in my Dino A Day review series. Now, a couple things. This is a much more useful Dino than people realize. As a matter of fact, it's uh, it's very high up on the useful list and people just totally forget about it. Now, what is it good for? So yes, it is a flyer. It is very fast as a flyer, by the way, in case you're curious. Um, it's got the ability to kind of sit here and stop and then go up and kind of stop and create a wall. You'll notice that this is a pretty good wall it's got going right there. And that wall is going to be used later in this video because it's got the ability to soak, which is amazing. And it's got a cool ability to drop a spore cloud on some people, which is pretty neat as you can see and it drops it down to the ground almost like a uh, an artillery strike if you want to call it that and this spore cloud is awesome I'll show you what it does in a second but let's talk about this guy's stats just a touch first so what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna go ahead and look in his inventory he's got some really good basic startup stats you can see the health is pretty good and each health point you can get these guys up pretty high um, on official I've seen them to 10 to 15 thousand pretty easily especially just in general that's that's how they work you know so to each their own um, I would crank up their stamina quite a bit if I was you they lose stamina really really slowly their melee does not matter because they literally cannot attack things. So that's just, you know, it doesn't change anything. So don't worry about that. Weight can be useful if you want them to carry more vegetable cakes. And that's, you know, that's that. So just to show you, they can eat vegetable cakes and it does increase their health. And that is something that is amazing because that is why they are good at soaking. So this one's pretty damaged at this point in time. We'll kind of show you what the other abilities are first. So. What you can do with 100% of dinos in this game is, oh, you got my sweet vegetable cakes. That's unfortunate, so I'm going to go ahead and pull those back into the game. I hate those ichthyornis. Um, so, anyways, you'll notice that he eats it, and just with 10,000 health, he gives up 600 points per veggie cake. That's pretty amazing. And uh, if you get them over 20k health, they actually do a percentage increase instead of a set amount, which is awesome as well. So what you do is you can actually drop these bombs on individual dinos, just like you see right there. It is the primary attack of this guy. And what you can do is it reduces the speed of anything that it hits, whether it's tamed, player, wild, anything, by 90%. 90%. That's insane. So let's say you're wanting to tame something, you're wanting to chase something, all you gotta do is make sure you're above it, drop a ball down, and boom. 90% reduction in speed. You can bowl it then, you can do whatever you need to. It works against Gigas, it works against Rexes, it works against every size to tame in the game. And that's just, you know, amazing. And the really awesome thing about it is it does not cause aggro either. So you can do this slow thing to any creature, whether it's a mid-sized tame, let's say you're trying to tame a racer or something like that, or a parasaur, and you don't want them going anywhere. You can go ahead and bomb them from above, just like this. And it will not aggro him, but you can see 90% reduction in speed, which is absolutely bonkers. It's amazing that you can actually drop something speed so quickly for a long period of time and it allows you to do what you need to do you can have one or two guys just running around on top of things oh, and that was about what i was about to show you anyways but we'll get there um but you can literally have one or two guys just running around on these up above a fight and making it so that if you're having a getting an out of source fight you can drop these things like there's no tomorrow and just rain it down from pretty much any distance so you could be way out of turret range way out of getting out of source range and just sit up here because they literally work like an artillery shell it's quite awesome so you know to each their own and uh i'm gonna go ahead and drop another one of those you can see them hit the ground we'll go ahead and k mode a little bit there that's a cool picture but anyways so that's what they're really good at when it comes to like the actual fighting aspect of them they can drop things to slow things and really quite useful i've seen some people as i mean they're more of a support team because obviously they have no actual attack and they stay in the sky forever, so you can just sit above things, and let's say there's a Parasaur over here that represents the Giga. I'm just going to sit over here, 
and drop bombs on him, you can get pretty good with these things. So your Giganotosaurus and everything you have has a huge advantage because you can just sit over here and drop this stuff. Now it also stays on the ground for quite a long time. So you can uh, leave it there and it'll go, I think it's like 10 seconds-ish that cloud stays there. So if they run through the cloud again, they just continue to get stuck, which is amazing. Now, it's also a really awesome strategy to use these guys for soaking. Now, why would you use them for soaking? That's the question a lot of people ask because, yes, I can physically see that they have the ability to drop this bomb, like an artillery shell. Um, so they are a great support team. Now, how are they a soaker? Now, if you've ever seen a sky tower, what you'll notice is they only have, at the tippy top of it, probably three to four, or maybe five turrets. And that's good for the Lymantria. Because they have the ability to eat vegetable cakes, they can soak very well. Now they also make sure that you can do this, but remember that wall that I mentioned earlier? If someone has turrets on players only, you can literally just sit up there like this and soak all the bullets and then fly away. Now. With that, because they have the ability to eat veggie cakes, they can continue to restore their own health, which is quite nice. So we're going to go ahead and show you what I mean by that. Because there's a turret on the ground, I'm going to create the wall effect. We're going to try and go over the top of this turret to get shot by it. Come on. How close do I got to be? Mm, there it is. So. I'll sit here and I'll just soak for a little while. You'll see that it does take increased damage, but this is a prim saddle. A lot of people have the ability to make much, much better saddles because for some reason, if you go on a Scorched Earth or anyone where you can get Scorched Earth Engrams, Lamantria saddles get stupid high. Like you, we're talking like easy into the 100s and uh, you can take a huge damage reduction in order to do that. And I'll show you that in a second, but uh, just so you can see, you do that. And because he's got a lower health quantity, um, you can just land right outside of turret range. And you'll see that his ability to heal up is pretty fast. Um, he'll sit here like this, and that's kind of just, you know, how it works. I'm going to go ahead and bring in a really good saddle just to show you guys how much of a difference that really does make. I'm going to bring in a bunch of them, and I'll kind of just, like, you know, select the ones that we want here. Ah, uh, there's a 224. That's unrealistic. Well, yeah, it's somewhat realistic. We'll go with a 169. That sounds like a fine saddle. And let's go ahead and put it on instead of the other one. And you'll notice he's already three quarters health again. Uh, just those veggie cakes. So as long as you get a bunch of veggie cakes, you can pretty much soak somebody's entire base, which is quite nice, obviously. Um, and just to show you these, the things that he drops uh, do not soak turret bullets actually a lot of people for a while thought they did but they do not um, so you can actually drop these from out of turret range onto somebody which is quite powerful all right so he was taking quite a bit of damage earlier he's going to take about a third of the damage there it is so he'll take 21 damage which is a big difference so if you've got the ability to get a really good saddle on this guy it makes a ginormous difference in how much damage he takes and this is how people are soaking people's entire bases with just Lymantria. Because they can create that giant wall like you see right there. That turret's not going to hit me. And let's say I was worried about it hitting me. I could just fly to the point where it, I don't have anything to worry about. Um, obviously you're going to try and only soak one or two bullets at a time. Because he doesn't take reduced damage in any way, shape, or form. It's always the same across the body for the moth. Because he's got no sort of like armored protection. But that's kind of just how it is. So, um, but what I will mention is that as long as you're careful, it's really easy to soak with these things because they're really, really easy to fly. It's not something that's difficult to fly at all. And uh, I've seen some people get some crazy Lymantria. So, take that for what you will. And we're going to go ahead and fly away with our Lymantria. Um, but I'm also pretty sure you can breed these things. Uh, I'm not entirely sure on this, but I think you can. So you, if you had an imprint bonus, increased stats in general, overall, just better Lymantria, it's uh, it's something that you can pretty easily soak with, which is nice. So And just drop some bombs in case anyone's getting close, and it'll basically drop them out of the sky because it reduces their stamina and a 90% reduction. 
All right, so we're going to go ahead and go over here because he's still taking that damage. And because he heals up so fast with veggie cakes, if you've got the time, all you got to do, add some more veggie cakes to his inventory. Well, leave me alone. I don't want to play with you. Um, just fly away and you can go back whenever you're ready to do it again because they gain health back at an incredibly awesome rate. All right, I'm trying to land here just to show you. There we go. So, as you can see, ooh, voice crack. But as you can see right here, um, this guy has a bunch of health. He'll just continue to gain it back. So this is how people are soaking with Lymantria and why Lymantria in general are just good tames. So you should definitely get yourself a hold of some Lymantria. They're fun to have. They're good to use. All right, other than that, teach out.